Hi everybody, today what we're working on is clipping paths and how to go in and out of titles. The question Cody had that was not answered in that video. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit our photo tray. The one I think that's going to work the best is one of the girl, the varsity girls throwing up a volleyball. So let's go ahead and scroll all the way over. Not there yet. Okay, let's go to Marlissa. I know hers was pretty good. Where she, there she is. So let's go ahead and click that one, hold it, and drag it up. Okay, let's make her exit out of here and make her a little bit smaller so she's not so her picture's not so big on the screen. I'm just gonna go like that. Okay, so then now what we're gonna go to is we're gonna click on photo over on the right and click on clipping path. Beautiful. So now what we're gonna do, see how there's this red line around here? We're gonna hit clear path. That's going to kind of wash it out. That, but but that means we can add our own. If that red box is there, it's not gonna know what clipping path you want. So we're gonna go ahead and zoom on in. And we're gonna start adding our points. So I'm on curve because she's not straight angles and she's a human so we're just gonna kind of start to go around we're gonna have to be really meticulous with this because it, the further apart our points are the more crazy they get so we're gonna want to stay really close to her and really um, I'd rather you guys made too many points because then you can go in and delete them than make them kind of crazy because see how now I'm trying to get up here well that one worked because it was her shoulder but Normally, see how it starts to get off right there? Do we see that black part? We, if we go closer, we can control that, right? So I'm going to want her hair. Let's keep going. Okay, now I'm going to have to click my pan because I'm wanting to move. So then we can click. I'm going to zoom in some even more. Okay, so that's great. Now I can go back to select, and that's going to let me add more points. I can add her more of her hair because I'm cutting off a little bit of her hair later or I can go in and do it now but we're just gonna do it later. So see how now if I'm getting too big I'm getting wonky so I'm wanting to stay pretty close and I can move this later so it's not so crazy. Beautiful. So see also how when I'm trying to move if I go too hard it's like pulling that down so that I almost want to create like a, a point really close so I can start to go around the ball. I'm gonna have to move that point. Now there's two things I can do here because I'm trying to I'm going to pull that ball out so I can either just cut it off and then make another page or, or another picture or we can go all the way around. And if you notice when I was doing the ball, it kind of cut it off a little bit. Just keep on doing it like we want. We just want to make sure there's a spot between like right here where they're connected or we're going to have to do two separate images. So I'm going to go back to pan, pull it down. Sorry, the clipping paths take just a little bit long, so we're just going to keep on going. Go to pan. But talking about compositionally, do you know just how the photographer cut her that cut her at her knees and not like at her ankles? That's what I'm talking about. Like you don't ever want to just cut somebody. You want to make it intentional, right? Because if she would have cut her off like at the socks, it would have been super duper awkward. Why are you being weird? Okay, I will fix that later. Okay. I'm just trying to get this done at this point. 
We do, if you are doing clipping pads, though, they do need to be pretty good, guys, because if they're not, they look really wonky, and you can't, ex like, tell in a yearbook. Like, y you can't see all of the little, the little lines. So, if you are going to be using clipping pads, which I do encourage, you do want to be really meticulous. This will take time. This isn't something that you can just do within five minutes, even. Because I would have, mine's really wonky. I need to go in and fix it if I was actually doing this for a spread. Okay, so now that I, you have to double click where you want it to stop. And now I have Marlissa cut out. Oh, I would, didn't even go out all the way. Um, I have her really cut out, okay? So then what I can do is I can hit done. And now I have her cut out, right? So I'm going to put her right on that bottom line. I'm going to make her a little bit bigger. And what I want to do is I want to put the volleyball behind. So actually what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to go back into here. So I'm going to want to go back to my clipping path and delete all of the points around the volleyball. So I'm going to want to zoom in, pan up, is and keep zooming in and then what I can do is I can start playing with these right so if I want to delete her delete them I just hit my delete button and then I can go through and click all of these ones that I don't want and what it's gonna do is it's just gonna move the connect the two points right so see how these are two are connected but if i delete this one it's going to connect those two okay so then what my goal is is to connect those two sorry marlissa that my clipping path is so wonky but the other thing i can do is i can hit single and i can start to move these so they're closer right if i click these i can move them so that way like her thumb right here if i wanted to mess with her thumb I can go back, hit my single, and then move these red ones down. Maybe. Come on. Um, but you can start to move them so that they're, they're more. Or I can hit them all. If I wanted to move them all, I can move them all. Okay, so then I'm going to go ahead and hit done. The volleyball is going to go away. And so what I'm going to want to do now is I'm going to want to copy this. So control C, come back, control V. And I'm going to want to move it directly over where it is. Okay, the thing is, is that now what I want to do is I want to move this one behind. So if I double click it with both of my fingers or right click it with a mouse, I can hit move sent to back, okay? That's gonna move her in behind everything, okay? And then what I can do is I wanna mess with that clipping path. I wanna clear path, and then I'm going to add just the volleyball, whatever I want to move behind, okay? So since I just want the volleyball, I can, this would be like that one where it's the light pole is in front, right? We would add another one that was just the light pole. So then I'm gonna go back to select and I am going to very, I'm going to do it quickly, add my volleyball. Like I said before, and I'm gonna say it again because it is extremely important. You do not want, like if you did this wonkily in the yearbook, I'm going to make you go back because Clipping paths are super cool and super important, but they are, like, this would not be acceptable in any shape or form. Then I can go ahead and click done, and now, see how the volleyball is behind run, okay? So, say I want run to be bigger, right? So, see how this now looks like it's, it's two pictures, right? But it is one. Okay, awesome. So that is how you do this, where it goes in and out, okay? Have a great day, everybody. Sorry this was a little long picture because the clipping, or video because the clipping pass took me a little bit longer, but I hope this helps.